Now we're going to demonstrate four horses. So four horses are the point patterns for colds and flus, autoimmune disease, uh, psoriasis, thyroid, very wide application. We use four horses quite a lot. Uh, they're, they're our primary points for skin, but they're also our primary points for asthma, for uh, allergies, colds and flus. So four horses. It's found anterior to gallbladder 31. Uh, we can also find it by locating the top of the patella again. We come up on a line from the lateral corner of the patella. Straight up, we want to make sure that the legs are relaxed completely, so rocking like this is a very good idea. Make sure the legs are completely relaxed. So I measure four fingers. She's almost exactly my height, one inch taller. Four fingers twice plus three. Then I want to take that marking and match it up with the corner of the patella. So I'm going to come wide just a little bit. Now, if we weren't sure, we could check and see if this is gallbladder 31. Sore? Yeah, right there. So we can come forward of gallbladder 31, but sh you should be able to count from the top of the patella, four fingers twice plus three. Okay, eight sun above the, the top of the patella. And also, we are going to put our needle right where the muscle changes from the, the uh, horizontal plane to the vertical plane. We want to be right where that muscle starts to curve down. It will be on a line directly up from the outside corner of the patella. All of those landmarks will get you to the right location. These points are not gripping at all because she's not sick. So four horses is how many fingers apart? Three. 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 Four horses is three fingers apart. So we find where we think we want to be and then come back and look at the patella again. Where's the patella? Make sure that you don't go off to the side. We have our fancy needle there. Three fingers below, come back to the patella and check again. Always checking your patella. Right where the horizontal and the vertical planes meet. Okay, this is four horses. Middle horse is your primary point supporting above and below. Now, if we were treating the patient for skin disease, psoriasis, eczema, urticaria, rashes, allergic rashes, itchy skin, anything having to do with skin, sensitive skin. Then we would do a strong stimulation on four horses, leave the needles about 10 minutes. So now I'm supposing the needles have been in 10 minutes. Before I leave the room, I will then lift these up so that we're at the skin surface, or at the heaven level. Okay, this is gonna be a skin treatment. And then I'll stack my boxes around those needles and blanket to cover them. Okay, last, right before, last thing I do before I leave the room. Now, if I'm using four horses, I'm almost always, without exception, going to also be using Sancha 3. Mm -hmm. Also good for itching, also good for rashes, skin diseases, immune systems, all of those. Mm -hmm. We want to rock the leg to make sure it's completely relaxed. Whether you're doing three sisters, passing points, four horses, or three yellows, always rock the leg to make sure that it's completely relaxed. Four fingers, twice, plus three. Mark your point come back and check the patella. So I need to go a little bit wide here. One more time, I've looked away, make sure it's nice and soft. Four, four, and three. Check your patella. 
perpendicular to the surface. Three fingers above, check your patella, make sure you're still on the right line. Three fingers below, check your patella. You can also, now she's got a big blood vessel coming straight through here. So I need to, it's not big, but it would be painful to needle. So I have to decide it's exactly where I want to put my needle, right? So I have to go either above or below. I'm going to go just a hair above that vessel to avoid needling it. When we're bleeding, we want to hit the vessels. When we're needling, we want to avoid the vessels. So that's pretty strong stimulation. Large blood supply, large nerve supply, big thigh. Not She doesn't have large thighs, but thighs have large <laughs> nerve and blood supply. So they're very powerful points. She has lovely thighs. <laughs> they have served her well. Okay, so only for skin issues, only for skin, we would raise them before leaving the room. Holding on to that one too. Yeah, she, she wants these needles in. I'm going to put them back. We raise them on the other side, but she doesn't mind if I turn them, but she doesn't want me to lift them. She must be tired. These are very good for fatigue. Okay, four horses.